one we are live what's up, what's up trolls we back bitch what up man how you doing how you been my brother we haven't done this in a week that's all whiskey I'm, wednesday this baby is, this is how i'm doing whiskey yeah that's what we do whiskey wednesday shout out to the shirts coming out i worked on that this past weekend i drove as you were traveling across this country again yeah boy you travel man you fucking travel bro Hey man, I bought that car June 29th. It's got nine thousand six hundred and some odd miles on it in in what Dude, 40 how, days. You drove so yeah. For those of you who don't know, because why the fuck would you? You drove from Ohio to Florida again. I did. Why? I have family there, so I went to meet him, and hmm. I went to pick up my uncle. So he's staying with us for okay. for a while. Yeah. Well, that's cool. That's cool. But yeah, man, crazy fucking times. Dude, it feels like it feels like people who listen to this podcast are like, oh, are they talking about this again? Like, yeah, man. Like, uh, I don't I don't I don't know what else, like what the fuck else to talk about. Like So we'll we'll try to take like the the sports lane of it, right? Because we talked about it earlier, like the NBA, you know what I mean? All the players will started with Milwaukee boycotted uh the the shooting in Wisconsin. Right. And like I guess, like it gets exhausting, right? Like we talk about this all the time. You listen to this podcast, you know our point of view. We're not gonna rehash shit about questioning the police and all this other shit. Right. Like when is it enough? Like I had a long group chat with my with my like Danny, his brother, and Jonathan and uh their cousin, right? And it's like, oh, nothing's gonna change. And that's what I got from every like other people I had the d- discussion with. I was like, that's such a defeatist thing. Like, so we just gotta be okay with you know what I mean? Being being afraid of possibly catching the wrong cop on the wrong day and my life is gone because I had questions where I didn't move quick enough. Right. Like when like I don't understand that shit. Like I don't get it. Right. Like I've I've gotten to the point where I'm just like I don't know what to do anymore. Look, I think the first I heard of this was was yesterday. Seriously, even though it happened, what? Four days yeah. ago, the uh, Jacob Blake, three days ago. Yeah, Mon- uh, I think it was like Sunday, Monday, Sunday or Monday. Yeah, one of those days. I I wasn't even I haven't watched the news in so long, and yeah. when you mentioned it to me, that was the first I heard of, I had heard of it, and it had already mm-hmm. been a day or two, and so yeah. I just kind of you know hit the you know hit Google and I saw the headlines and I I didn't even click on the articles. I just said fuck this shit again. Like that's all I yeah. I could do. I said I'm not even gonna read this. I can't because it's the same story. Yeah. You know, and 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 from the sports angle, you know, I'm seeing that Milwaukee, the Bucks are are boycotting or protesting Game Five. If, I don't know if that was yeah. supposed to be yesterday or today or. It's today. It, like all 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 basketball games today were canceled. So, mm-hmm. like the Blazers and the Lakers postponed or boycotted, mm-hmm. and it was just like it's it's weird because you know. It's weird. first of all, it's weird being on a group chat with like four other people. Because yeah. like if you put your phone down for a second, you come back to like forty text messages because yeah, they're having their own conversations. Mm-hmm. So it's exhausting in its own right. But I come back and I was like, okay, what happened? Because I didn't like I, I was busy all day working and shit. I was like, oh damn, what happened? So I see the news about the Bucks boycotting. Then I was like, nah, look, it makes sense. Like, because you're reacting to the news you have at that moment, right? Especially in a group chat, it's not like we're breaking news because. If you're watching this on YouTube and all that shit, like we're just giving our opinions. Like we're not breaking news. Like we don't factor into shit. You know what I mean? We're just right. talking shit here. Yeah. Drinking whiskey. So if you want come to us for your QA non advice, wrong fucking podcast, bro. QA this ain't the one for you. Huh. Yeah. But like, so I react to that where I'm like, nah, it makes sense. Like I actually think it's a good call for them to boycott the game. Cause I thought in my mind, I'm reacting to like, oh, they're taking the L. Like they're forfeiting this game. Like with the playoffs on the line, championship on the line and all that shit. Right, yo, that's a dope. That's a dope move, and then the NBA and the NBA PA comes out and say, "Oh no, they're postponing the games." I was like, "Then nothing matters, like, because then it's not. Then it, you know what I mean. Then they didn't take the L. Like, if Giannis, if Giannis was supposed, to, and I told them this after, I was like, "No, like this is like I'm paraphrasing the whole conversation, mm-hmm. right?" I was like, "Yo, I want to take back everything I said about defending them and like thinking it was a good move, because now with just the postponing, then this game, like, then now it's just an act for social media or." Yeah, it's a good because it gives them the out. It's a good PR move. Yeah, it's a good PR move. Even if it wasn't initially, right? Like, 
because that's what they're that's what people are like channel to. It's the same thing that they did with like Colin Kaepernick. Yep. It was like, oh, I didn't like this, but even though he whatever. So I was just like, oh man, fuck. Then it doesn't that doesn't mean shit now. Like that's mm-hmm. all they're gonna like channel to. Like oh, they're gonna it's gonna be the same talking points. Oh, spoiled millionaires. Why are they complaining anyway? They made it. Exactly. Talking point. Talking point. Talking point. Talking point. Right. Right. So I was like, man, like it'd be dope if Giannis came out and was like, yo, like you know what? Fuck this season. Obviously, the championship means a lot to every single player on this team, but it doesn't mean our lives and our community is hurting right now. So we we're gonna forfeit our playoffs and our seating, and I'm, we're gonna donate our game checks to building up our community, like putting their money where their mouth. So like. To me, that's a disarmament statement, right? Because right. then you can't say, "Oh, but they're not doing anything for the communities," because they're doing it. Because they're they're gonna make hundreds of million dollars, hundreds of millions of dollars, and the back end anyway for doing this type of shit. Right. So I was like, "Dude, it'd be a dope line." Like, and then you put LeBron in the corner where he had to do the same shit, and then it just goes down the line because like, he would he would be forced to, right? Because and he yeah. and not that he's been that type. He's been what Jordan was never. He's been what Jordan yes. never was. Jordan never got involved. He always kind of just skirted kind of any much. issues like that right and and yes. lebron has always been the one to make those comments and so not that he wouldn't do it but if Giannis and the bugs did that it would definitely put him in that corner and i don't think that he'd yes. be uncomfortable doing the same thing i mean because he's already Absolutely shown not. that he he's he's that type of of i guess advocate i mean look what he did for for what well, because he from for akron because look what he did with that with the school right mm-hmm he did the charter school that he personally financed, got sponsors for. All those kids are gonna go to are gonna go to college because of LeBron. Right. You know what I mean, like people that John, like he's definitely he's definitely the athlete that Jordan never was in that sense, right? Right. Like there was there was like athletes on lower levels that never that did shit like that, but never garnered the attention because they weren't Jordan, right? Jordan was never the leader in that sense. That's what to me to me makes LeBron an overall better person and player because he's not just investing in himself because he's gonna be a billionaire. He's gonna eventually own the Cavaliers, right? Right, like that's just what's gonna happen. But he's also investing in the community, so he disarms people's argument against black people, right, and against athletes. So if Giannis does that, and then you put all these other hundreds of millionaires on it on the list, and then you put the pressure on the owners to be like, "Look, man, this is where we came from. If you want more of us, you're gonna have to put some more money in here," and then you get them, and then you get the corporations. Because the corporations are sponsors. That was my next... And then that's when you change it. Yeah. I and mean, because that's... Le- Le- LeBron is that. He's that uh, athlete, player, activist, right? And yes. you And you said it. You took the words out of my mouth. The corporations. Once these teams decide to... If they decide to make that leap and say, you know what? The season's done for us. I'm just going to take these checks and donate them to the community. You don't think that they would get sponsorship yep. or donations yep. or financial support? financial backing from there's from you know the whatever brands they represent and even other yeah. ones outside of 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 whatever they you know whatever brands that they have uh contracts with i think that money would come flowing into those communities yeah but it would have to come from them it's not going to come from the old white dude that owns a team who's a billionaire no. you know eight times no. over it's going to come from the guys even though they're millionaires themselves it's uh-huh. gonna have to come from them because that's where they come from. They come from those neighborhoods. They're they are those black kids that are getting shot or the, or that black guy that's getting shot before they made it to the league. Like that's that's that yep. would have been them. The only difference yep. is that they were able to get out. You know, like people say that these guys are millionaires and spoiled millionaires, and you know they said the same thing about Kaepernick. Like he doesn't have those, you know, or any player, black player that speaks out. You know, oh, you you're a millionaire. You don't have to deal with those issues. Yeah, because he got out. And now he can yes. live in a gated community. If he wasn't a millionaire, yeah. just by the fact that he's black and he's got dreads or he dresses a certain way, then, you know, categorize him as urban or whatever you want to categorize, you know, whatever the, the, the term is that that, that, that yep. society uses, you're going to look at him or a certain way. Or, right. Or ghetto yeah. or hood or whatever. Yeah. And that's because urban is a politi- politi- <laughs> politically correct term. Right. But that's yeah. what they'll be yeah. categorized as. And that's what they'll be looked at. The only difference is that through basketball or football or whatever, you know, skill, um, they were able to get out. Not to say that, obviously, other, you know, other, you know, attorneys baseball, and doctors right? and other people didn't, but we're talking about athletes here. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Not baseball players, right? <laughs> not, not baseball. That's where the Latinos come from. Yeah. <laughs> Latinos in the, in the, 
in the poor neighborhoods come, yeah. go to baseball. So if they, if they, if they, if they, like you said, put their money where their mouth is and said, you know what, we're going to get involved. We're going to put the money into these communities. We're going to help them establish programs because they don't have the funding because the government doesn't nope. give them the funding. So it has to come from somewhere. There's no property taxes. Right. There's no property taxes. There's redlining. There's yeah. like, it's, it's easy for a lot of people to be like, oh, well, why don't they, why don't they pick themselves up? Why don't they do this? Why don't, like, but these are the same people that, for the most part, will regurgitate the, oh, well, all lives matter. But, okay, so if all lives matter, then why is it them? Right? Like, if, why is it they? Mm-hmm. Like, if they're a member of the same community and they're part of the same human race and they're a part of their citizens in every way, mm-hmm. right? Like, their ancestors built this country and all this, all, all the other shit. Like, why is it always they when it's, like, convenient for you? But when they're like, hey, man, fuck this Wendy's real quick because you keep killing us, it's them. Right? Like, once they do something that steps out of your what you believe they should do and what they should be, uh-huh. they're like, ah, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah. So, I mean, they're clearly violent. Just look at them. Like, how they're rioting and looting now. How dare they? It's just weird, bro. It's just weird. It's just fucking weird. I don't know. I muted myself. I had to. I had to yeah, yell something across the house. Hold, hold on. <laughs> yeah, but um, <laughs> man, look, it's it's a nuanced, it's it's a nuanced conversation because, by the way, like that they that's who built this country, right? Immigrants, and, and they're not even yes. immigrants because they were brought here against their will. Yes. Like. Slaves. They Other slaves. people came over. They didn't immigrate here. They just said, we're going to bring you over here and then we're going to pay you nothing and beat the shit out of you and you're going to build this country yeah. and build this wealth for me. And then uh, in 2020, we're going to tell you, pick yourself up by your bootstraps. Like, we're just even now. Like, it's been 400 years since, since you know, since uh, the Mayflower. Like, you're still complaining? Who, it's been... it's been, you know what's crazy? <laughs> it's been damn near 200 years since slavery. You're still complaining? Yeah. Yeah, exactly. And then just 50 years since you you were given the right to vote, but walk it off. You'll be yeah, fine. Walk it off, dude. You know what's so weird about that shit? Like that I didn't know. I think we talked about it. Like the 1619 Project from the New York Times, right? Yeah. They have a podcast. Oh, and I didn't know that. I didn't know. Yeah, I didn't know this shit. Like I learned that all the slave owners got reparations for their slaves, right? Like they got money back for the slaves they lost. Cause it's like it's almost like lost income, but the slaves didn't get shit. Like every any time that they were like, "Oh, we're gonna figure this out," Black Wall Street, North Carolina, Rosewood, we're gonna figure this out and pick ourselves up by the bootstrap. They were slaughtered and murdered, countlessly, over and over and over again. Every time it's, every time now you see a black person be killed, like oh, but he had a record. Oh, he was right. up to something. Oh, well, why why didn't he listen fast enough? Why didn't he just what? I was like, oh, I was like, all right, man. Like, it's exhausting to go through these conversations, right? Because we do this almost every couple weeks. Is that a fucking mellow yellow, bro? No, what sir. What the fuck are you drinking? It's aha, uh-huh. like that eighties group, yeah. sparkling water yeah, no, with I, caffeine I, and electrolytes. Okay, you ever had a a sevia? You ever had one of those? I have not. Z E V I A. It's pretty good. They have a bunch of different flavors. The purple one is my shit. Purple drink. Purple but anyways, drink. Like it's it's always it's always like the blaming the victim mentality. Mm-hmm. But for everything else, it's pick yourselves up by the bootstraps. You know, like oh, why didn't I? Like, I don't I don't understand that shit. Like I don't I don't. To me, it doesn't it doesn't register because if I'm let's say what if I'm hard of hearing, right? Like what if I'm partially like like me? Like we talked about before. Like I'm partially deaf because of the military, right? So sometimes I don't realize how loud I'm talking and how loud I'm being or like the intonations of my voice. So like, what if I have a in, like interaction with a cop and I don't realize that I'm being a smart ass, right? And so I have dark to be skin. cautious of the way. Yeah. I have to be cautious of the way I talk that because my life might be on the line. Like what was weird about this video, right? The Jacob Blake thing is like how casual the cop pulled the trigger. You know what I mean? Like most of the other ones are like, they have like the both hands on the gun. Put it down, yada yada yada. This one, he just like it looked like he was about to scratch his back and just goes plop 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 plop. I, I like, read a headline: like, I, seven we, shots into his back, he shot him in the back seven times. 
Yeah. Yeah. Because he might have had a weapon, by the way. I've, I checked before we did this podcast. Still no release by the Kenosha PD no video? that he had a weapon. Oh. That he had a gun. And Kenosha PD doesn't do body cams. They do body microphones, which doesn't mean shit. Because if you listen to this podcast on audio, you, we could be butt naked in our homes. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. It doesn't mean a I was about thing. to be but before the start of this one, and you uh, you uh, nixed it. He said no. Exactly. I had to be like, hey man, not don't don't put your dick on the cam. Like that's not that's not what we're doing here because we'll get kicked off YouTube. That's a terrible way to start Patreon. That's why we're going on Patreon, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Only fans. Put, put your dick on the cam. <laughs> put your dick on the cam. <laughs> put your nah, put dude, your dick on the shoulder and show what you're working with, son. We we small but we big. <laughs> we small but we big. <laughs> Kevin Hart. <laughs> Let him know, son. Hey, what she say when she saw it? That's right. That's right, bro. That's right. Small, we big at the same time. <laughs> oh shit, dude! It's so it's so like I, as soon as I saw it, I was like, oh, let's just cue the talking points. Yeah, we'll find his record. He did something wrong. The, all all of which has nothing to ever do with the engagement at that moment with the police. Oh, but he was a bad guy. Okay. So so what? So what if he was a bad guy? In that moment, was he a bad guy? No. Did you know when you shot him that he was a bad guy? Were you going to arrest him because he had a warrant? Nope. He was breaking up a fight. He had his three kids in the back seat. He didn't have a gun. He didn't have a knife. Because you have, to this day, right now we're recording on Wednesday at 8.30. Right. At this very moment, you have not released whether he had a weapon. If he had a weapon, do you think there's riots and looting in the streets? Where's the culpability for the police and their actions and their inactions in these in these riots and looting? Because if he had, dude, if he had a weapon, if he has a weapon, then we're not talking about this shit, right? Not at like, all. We're not talking about, like if he had a gun in the car. If he had a gun in the car, not talking about this, right? But we are. If he goes, hey man, I got a gun in the car and I'm licensed. But that like, happened Philando though. Castillo, but that happened, right? Philando, Philando Castillo. Castillo. Exactly. He told him. And then he got shot anyway. Yeah. So what? What is he, someone to do? Like he he did everything that you're supposed everything yeah. right, quote unquote. Yeah. Was calm. Was yeah. cool. We saw the video. Yeah. Was calm. Was cool. Was collected. Had his daughter in the back seat. His girlfriend in the driver's seat. So t- he wasn't even driving. If I remember, he wasn't even driving, and like yo. So what are you supposed to do? And people were like, oh, but why do they burn down shit? I was like, what are, What else are they supposed to do? Oh, but they always do this. I was like, that tells you that it's always been happening. Because it's not one Liberty police City. department. It's widespread. It's yes. everywhere. Uh, if it was one yeah. police department, one, one city, one state. Hell, one state is a lot. One city, that whole city is corrupt. Yeah. But the entire country? For how long, John? Think before we've been alive. Watts. Liberty City. Liberty City. Uh, you yep. Detroit, you name it, bro. You fucking like this isn't something new. Like this isn't like so. I'm like, oh man, 2020 is weird shit, right? Like we had we had murder hornets. That's 2020 weird shit, right? This has been going on before you and I were alive, before our parents were alive, while our parents were alive, before our grandparents were alive. This isn't some fucking weird thing. That like, oh man, this is crazy. No, dude, this has been happening. And people and I like I talked to you about it before, like and people say like, oh, but they they were they were probably up to something. All, all the same defenses, right? But they always say, oh, but oh, but white people are white people are killed more. Then why doesn't that make again? So why aren't you out people. rioting? Why aren't you outraged if that's the case? Yeah. If there are more white people killed by cops, why are they only outraged when people protest about cops killing black people? How come they're not protesting just because? Yeah. yeah. What's yeah. like? Do you understand like how do, that like, doesn't make sense when that's their justification? So you're just waiting yeah. for people to protest about cops killing black to people to, to then just say, "Oh no, I'm outraged because more white people get killed." Or really? Yeah. So where have you why been this you, entire why, time? Why aren't you marching? Yeah. Why aren't you marching with those black people? Because the thing is, Black Lives Matter is a that. Marxist movement, though. Yeah, exactly. It's Marxist. It's part of the part of the anti QAnon movement. And George Soros is funding all of it. George Soros is funding all of it. It's it's a genius it's investor, the by the way. Group. Genius. <laughs> yeah, part of the Bilderberg Group, and you just name any Berg, and 
any anti-Semitic trope you want, fill it in into this part of the podcast. Hey, hey, I don't know. The Bilderberg, the Bilderberg group, 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 I can't even say it right. Bilderberg group is a real What's thing. What's in that AHA, son? What's in that AHA? <laughs> oh, it's not the AHA, man. <laughs> it's what I'm drinking right after the AHA. <laughs> yeah, no, I got my water as a chaser. But, dude, look, I, I 100% would rather do other podcasts, right? Like, I'd yeah. rather talk shit and you know, crack dick jokes and talk about the dumbest shit on the world. Like, I'd rather... But this hey, is small, but we big, son. Small will be big, son. Hey, listen, grow or not a shower, baby. Grow or not a shower. <laughs> but dude, listen, it's it's the fuck, it's the weirdest shit, dude. Like it's I don't, and it permeates, right? Like it's not just white people that have those talking points. It's black people that have those talking points. It's Hispanic people that have those talking points. And yeah. we talked about it last week. The the power of propaganda, bro. Like, and that people all say the same shit, and it's all. And it's all that shit. It was like, okay. So again, like, I, it's exhausting to do this, but like, I feel like it's necessary in a way, but like, cause somebody has to scream into the void of like, yo, this doesn't make sense, man. Like, why don't you ask why? Why don't you ask how a, a guy who possibly had a gun gets shot seven times, but a guy in the, in the guy that shot the, the white ring, the r- white ring guy. Yeah. Basically the right wing guy yeah. that showed up yesterday in kenosha from illinois shot a couple people and walked towards the cop with an ar-15 strapped across his chest and looked for the cops for help there was they didn't shoot him they apprehended him hmm. why is it that dylan roof shoots eight people at a bible study you're supposed to be christian but they take on a burger king then they take his eyes out to like, fast food place yeah like what so if it's Get not if it's about to not say race Wendy's. right yeah probably same shit right Dude, I haven't been to Burger King in so long. I still fuck with their chicken sandwiches, though. The best. By the but, way, Burger King is going out of business across the country. And so I get these crazy-ass coupons in the newspaper. I know I'm derailing the conversation a little bit, but we got to keep it light <laughs> just for a, a second. Yeah, and, I, and I went to Burger King, and I got the family pack. I think it was like twelve ninety nine. That's the coupon. The coupon is twelve ninety nine, and you get What's a family three, pack from- three Whoppers, three okay. Whopper Juniors. What? No, three Whoppers, three Cheeseburgers. Uh, like two small, like some crazy. I'm like, dude, like they're all of these crazy coupons. I'm like, damn, right now they don't. It's like a going out of business sale every day for Burger King. Yo, yeah, son, like, I use the them. Fact, I just thought, of, I just thought about this. Shit. I saw yeah. a commercial yesterday for Burger King, my first one that I've seen in who the fuck knows how long, right? They're like giving away whoppers, dude. Twelve ninety nine like, whopper for three whoppers, three cheeseburgers, two fries, a uh, uh, two so, drinks. Yeah, I know. It doesn't make you know what ruined them the impossible burger. They, like, oh, they, they decided to go vegan. I was like, I oh, know we're not fucking with that yeah. shit. Terrible. I was like, wait, now you just it, but it, it looks like the rest of the burgers. Like, what the fuck are you really feeding us? Yeah, it's terrible shit yeah, too. Dude, like, I don't. Yeah, but so like so that's what I'm saying. Like, if the, the, with the Dylan Roof shit, right? To get back on, and then we'll talk yeah, random yeah. shit. Like, if it's not race, then what is it? Right? Because. The guy, I think, I'm not going to say his name because fuck him in every way possible. I hope the guy dies a terrible raped death in prison because he went to he went to the protest with the AR-15 to kill people. The 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 right wing guy. Mm-hmm. Young kid, whatever. He goes there armed, loaded. Uh, and he had like the the medical gloves. You know what I mean? Like the ones to like the, the blue ones that we see. Yeah. You know what I'm talking about? Like the ones that like people wear like at, at, at the fucking at the doctor's office or Corner's shit office. like that. Like he had gloves on. Yeah. He had those gloves on. So he went in there. He went there with the intent, right? Because first of all, you don't go anywhere with a loaded AR-15 with like, oh, I hope nothing happens. He goes into the process and all that shit. Gets protected by the cops, gets apprehended. Mm-hmm. The only difference here, he has a gun and he's white. Nothing happens to him. Completely and totally fine. You suspected that Jacob Blake had a gun. You suspected that Jacob Blake had a knife. Again, Wednesday, eight forty-one now. August twenty-six. I haven't 26. seen a fucking a Twitter mention. Nothing to be confirmed that he had a weapon. If he had a weapon, why didn't the cops say it immediately? Why didn't they? Why did they put all the cops on administrative leave? Their silence is culpable. Should be culpability. For all these riots and looting, right? For all the people that get angry, because if he had it, then it's justified. Then the argument isn't isn't outlast. 
isn't isn't the way it is. Outrage and all this shit, right? right? Hey, man, the cop could have been killed. Everybody understands that. Nobody thinks the cop doesn't have a dangerous job. But you should be able to kill somebody thinking they have a gun. So now it's a thought crime, right? Like, but somebody has an AR-15 strapped across their chest. Mm -hmm. That's already fine, man. Yeah, come on over, bud. We'll just apprehend you. You'll be fine. Oh, you killed a couple people and shot at a crowd? Ah, don't worry about it. We'll take you in. We're going to have to take you in, though. We'll take you to get... Yeah, we'll take you in and get some Burger King. We'll talk about it. Even though there's... Yeah. Something like there's video of the cops giving water to like civilians armed that are white. Just just the fact of the story, right? Not 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 like identity politics or none of that shit. Yeah. Giving them water and like, hey man, don't worry, we'll take care of it. And the cops laughing it off. Protect them, sir, bro. What? But you shot at somebody. That's Seven that's times. not really the police's function. It never has been. It's on their patrol cars, but that's never been their function. Yep. But I mean, you know, if you actually, we talked about this before. If you if you yeah. go and look at the history of like the police force and why they were used, and they were slave chasers, and they were used to bring slaves back to that they had escaped to the north or to seek, you know, that were seeking freedom, and then we maintain a police force, and their function never really. Look, you mentioned this off the air, uh, talking about racism versus classism, uh, and, and that's probably a conversation to be had at another time. And I know that that applies when you're to, like this. These are nuanced conversations, right? That's all we do, right? Like we we don't do we don't do like at no point if you ever listen to this podcast and you stick with us, understand, we're never gonna do black and white conversations. That's not who we are as people. That's not who we are as as men. That's not who we are as best friends that we are. We're not those people, right? right? Well, that's why we end up trying to have a 30-minute podcast that turns into an hour, an hour and 15. Right. Because there's nuance to everything. We don't take anything as a monolith. Sorry to interrupt you. Anything as a monolith. Anything as a black and white. Because it's not that ever. Every every situation is completely and utterly different. And like Akash and Andrew Show said, which I'll always give credit to, life is about perspective. There's going to be people who listen to this podcast that think these motherfuckers are full of shit. I thought you were about to There's say, people that say oh, I thought are... they were about to say they're all about that WAP. All about that WAP, boy. We're about the, we're about the Ben Shapiro of this podcast now. We're going to talk really fast and make it seem make it seem like we know what we're talking about. We really but, don't because he's never had WAP in his life. He doesn't <laughs> know what he doesn't know what WAP is. It, it, he, it's a gynecological. What do you say? It's, <laughs> it's like it's a gynecological condition. You shouldn't make fun of it. <laughs> you shouldn't shouldn't make fun of the. You know what? You know what Ben Shapiro sounds like. Which, that by the way, dude. real quick, fuck, fuck Ben Shapiro. Yeah, Ben Shapiro sounds like the the end user license agreement <laughs> read really fast. That's right. No, you know, hey, those. Uh, you know what? He sounds like he sounds like those. Uh, the commercials for like Viagra or for whatever the other fucking get hard pills, yeah. where there's like a couple and they're in a tub and other shit starts like disappearing and appearing while they're in their tub, yeah. and then you just hear the guy talking yeah. about like. And the, but you, if you listen, you catch like it's just gonna give you like unstoppable diarrhea and all this other crazy yeah. shit. I'm like, just for a hard day. If you're, like, ble- if you're bleeding, if you're bleeding out of your asshole, if your eyes start bleeding, if you suddenly feel the urge to kill yourself, contact your doctor. That's what Viagra sounds like. Call your doctor. That's fine too. Is it? But if you kill yourself, understand that uh, Viagra is not liable for the, for the action. Ben Shapiro is trying to talk so fast so you don't catch all the bullshit he's spewing. All bullshit. Son, Joe Rogan roasted him, and Joe Rogan was probably on mushrooms and all the weed <laughs> oh, in the world. And he son. was still able to fucking catch all that bullshit. About? I mean, and, and and Rogan's like, it took him a while because I think he's had him on the show before, or he's talked about yeah. him before, and then he kind of realized, like, yeah. Ben, you don't know what the fuck you're talking about. You don't know what the fuck you're talking about. Like, just just keep your mouth shut on this one. Yeah, like the whole cabin shit. He shut him down. He's like, oh, that that's that's completely practical. Oh, well, I wasn't talking about that one. I was I was talking talking about the one that made me yeah. upset right but That's he already works, but he already though. clarified so why are you still upset when he clarified and then he gave you facts and he gave yeah, you support exactly. and people that said hey we talked about it and, th- and that was the thing and then but everyone else wanted to be like no 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 i don't care about what he said afterwards and the clarifying i just don't like the fact that he did it in the first yeah. place right? which is essentially what it yeah, comes I, out let, to. let me let me live in my outrage you know what that is like let, let me, me be a my victim outrage, my let me be a victim but they yeah. complain about people that are that are actual victims or that are protesting you know, people that are vi- that you know protesting for victims because they don't have a voice or victims don't have a voice. But let me feel like a, mm-hmm. let me feel outraged and let me be the victim. 
Man, no, this yeah, guy makes my no feelings sense. matter more than your facts. Yeah, right. Like at the end of the day, that's what it is. But the way I feel about it matters yeah. more than the facts you bring me. The irony, though, because these guys all talk about they they all want to base decisions and things that they do on facts and not emotions, and yet that's yeah. all that they're doing. Especially his his all explanation for the Kaepernick thing, and he's like, no, 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 not that one. No, no, no. the the first one. Yeah. Go to the one that made me mad. The one that made me bad. I don't care what happened meme? afterwards. What that next me. I don't yeah, care. Through the sofa. I don't me. care about his clarifying statement. That doesn't matter to me. Yeah, you know what? You know what? And and I realized this a while ago. And I, I have constant like re 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 realizations. You know what I mean? Like when like oh they, this makes sense. Sure, we'll go with it. And like oh yeah, no, this definitely made sense now. You know what I mean? Where like you go go back and approach it because again, everything has nuance. Everything mm-hmm. is all that shit. Like, yeah, Ben Shapiro to a dumb motherfucker sounds smart as shit, bro. It does. Sounds smart as shit. But then you just ask him the question that we talked about last last week. Why? And why do you think that is? Like, what makes your point so valid over everybody else's? What, like, what, what, ex- what expertise do you have on growing up black in America? What expertise do you have of X, Y, and Z? Oh, did you read a book? Oh, who was that book re- written by? Because all of it has nuance and context, right? Yeah. Like, there's this book out that they're making white people read called White Fragility, written by like, uh, like this really weird, like HR person. Like, you ever seen Office Space? Yeah. You've seen Office Space? Yeah, yeah. You know, like the person who, like, the two guys who come in that have to fire a bunch of people. You know what I mean? She's like yeah. that. The the hatchet, like, that's who she is in the in this argument. I don't. I can't remember her name. Don't mm-hmm. care. But like she makes the white people, it's almost like that white silence is violent shit. Like where where you're like blaming white people, which is never what we do. Like I know white people get sensitive and shit. Like because I yeah. call them out and all that shit. Like no, not all white people. Again, you're not on the monolith. There's poor white people, rich white people. F- fill in the Ben Shapiro fast talk there, right? Like it's just it's weird. Like white fragility thing is like saying that like white people have to be conscious of X, Y, and Z in their situations because. They're white and like almost like wrecking all identity shit. Like, no, man, just just be a good person, bro. Right. Like, that's don't it. do like it's basically this. That's all it is. Here's the trick to it, man. And we're what two or three glasses in on whiskey. Don't be a dick to people. Yeah, don't be a piece there. Of shit. Look, solved it. Solved it. Look, I just solved racism. Don't be a dick. Don't don't blame somebody on their race or their ethnicity or their or their childhood or all this shit on why they should be the way they are. Don't say that, oh, because you don't have a dad, you're a terrible person. Not the way this works, bro. Not the way this works. None of it. None of it. None of it is one specific thing to why you're going to be a criminal or a bad person. None of it. There's not one fact. There's. I'm sure there's people in prison that ate people that had both parents in their house. I'm sure there's people who graduated college, became doctors and lawyers and judges that have no parents and had to figure it all out. Right. What the fuck are we talking about? What are we talking about? I don't know. What are we talking about? Um, what's the uh, what's that phrase that you just mentioned? Because I've been seeing it a lot. White silence is white silence is violence, right? So that's speaking a... of that. I, yeah, you Real know quick. all this shit going on in in DC, right? And uh, yeah, and I I, I I I get my news from Twitter because that's like you yeah, you so immediately get everything from Twitter from the source, not mm-hmm. from like a massage to like message from Fox or from CNN or whatever. Massage. Um, yeah, they massage, massage the data. Them? They massage the information. They, oh, okay. they massage okay. right. I was I was like, the wait, message. Wait, wait, wait. They they oh, okay. yeah. I get it now. They massage the message and they control <laughs> wait, wait. they control the narrative. What kind of, right? what kind of tweets you be getting, boy? <laughs> <laughs> Come on now. <laughs> so anyway, but what so, kind yeah. of what kind Look, of fucking all right, all right. Let's let's get back on track. <laughs> massage. <laughs> <laughs> you massage the message. <laughs> yes, yes. You smooth it out. You make it palatable. But uh, for whatever, yeah, for your demographic, right? But. Right, but it was a Black Lives Matter, supposedly Black Lives Matter, like uh, protesters. Now it was all a bunch of white kids. Now, that's great if they're really Black Lives Matter protesters, right? And if there were, the fucked up part was that, like, I, I get it, take action, and and it, nothing will change unless white people actually stand up and say something and and help make the change, because black people have been doing it forever, and it's not it's not happening. So white people actually have to be part of that movement. But there's like some old, older, you know, couple, older white lady having dinner on a, at, a, at a cafe and the table is on like the sidewalk and they're crowding her with, you know, like in her personal space, this crowd of protesters and they're yelling at her like, why won't you raise your hand in solidarity? 
just yelling all sorts of crazy shit like dude she's having dinner like that's not the way you go about it you know and of course these are a bunch of like 18 19 21 22 23 year old fucking kids that don't have jobs don't have anything better else to do and so that's the message that gets delivered to like to people that yes. say black lives matters is supported by george soros and look at them they, these antifa thugs they're no better than anyone else than, than anyone that they're yeah. supposed to be, you know, than any rogue cops that they're uh, protesting against because they're over here uh, inciting violence and terrorizing this lady. Try- and it's true. Like, that's that was that's bullshit. That's not the way you go about it. Now, I don't, I don't yeah, know if, if that's real- all you see, then that fills every yeah. every talking point you have. It does. Like, Which I, I also call bullshit on, though. There's yeah, I don't, know, I don't know who cameras. those kids were. I don't know who those kids were. I, I know that I saw, uh, like, uh, there was, like, a young, like, black woman who was telling them to like move step forward or move forward or whatever it was. But then that was it that everyone else was just some 17 to 22 year old, like white kid with a pop belly. And they look like a bunch of emo kids, you know, you know where, and you know where I call bullshit on that whole video is the fact that there was like eight video cameras around them and mm-hmm. only two rows of people. Uh-huh. You know what I mean? Like, like I was like, like, Oh wait, where like, if we if we if we're gonna go with the all oh, the media lies to you, right? Mm-hmm. How were in that exact moment? In that exact moment, there was more video cameras almost than there were people. Than there were people. <laughs> but that's what you're outraged about. Like you don't think that's a little funky? Like just you know what I mean? Like, and I, I guess say that for anything, right? Like if even if they weren't all white kids, let's say in that moment they were all Hispanic or or black kids or Muslim or whatever the fuck, yeah. fill in the blank. It's a little weird that in that moment, eight video cameras knew exactly where to be and get all the perfect angles for this couple having dinner. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like, just having that question, like, and again, like, I don't know. Like, it could have just been a complete and utter coincidence that eight perfect video cameras from news crews and Associated Press yeah. happened to be there when these two rows of white kids screamed at this white woman. You know what I mean? Like, oh, okay. So, but again, you're the same. The same people are like, oh, the media lies to you. Yeah. That's how easily you could be manipulated, right? Right. right. And I had friends. Send this, gate, I had friends send me that video. I was like, yo, why? I was like, why is everybody white? That that, that was a legit question. I was yeah. like, why is every? Oh, is this Antifa then? I thought Antifa only wore masks and wore all black. All these kids are showing their faces. Yeah. But they're but they're all wearing black. So like. It was it was like the whole video is questionable because again was. too many video cameras to me, bro. Too many video cameras. It wasn't uh, called it was, some it cell was phone. Too perfectly staged, right? Too perfectly staged. And then like they're all just yelling. Yeah, like that dude, like again, that that gives and it was in Washington DC. Yeah. Also, the week of the RNC. Listen, if you want a conspiracy theory, motherfucker, I just gave you one. Hey, by the way, I just gave speaking you one. of conspiracy Q-Anon, theories, eat, a, eat an entire bag of dicks while you at it. Yeah, Q and on. Hey, right. when when asked when the president was asked uh, what he thought about them and the popularity during the pandemic, he said, "Well, I don't know much about the movement other than they like me very much, which I appreciate." Mm-hmm. 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 <laughs> yep. Uh. Because the entire the entire conspiracy is based on him being the savior. Yeah, right? he was he He's was Jesus asked him. point blank if he uh, if he was secretly saving the world from a satanic cult, and he said, "I haven't heard that, but is that supposed to be a good thing or bad thing? If I can help save the world, <laughs> how from, would you not know? If I can help <laughs> save the world from problems, I'm willing to do it." <laughs> oh, and then Dude, and then watch. yeah, it's it's crazy that he he doesn't denounce this these crazy people. Like he won't denounce them, just like he, just like we had good people on both sides in in, in yeah. uh, West Virginia. Yeah, you know what's weird about that, and and Trevor Noah brought up a valid point. Let's let's be real about. It. Let's take your feelings on Donald Trump. You think if Donald Trump was really doing that shit, like fighting child trafficking, which obviously is a horrendous, like it goes without saying, right? I don't have to fucking qualify any of this shit because obviously all that shit is terrible. Yeah, of course. But if Donald Trump was the one guy fighting it, you don't think he'd be wearing a fucking hat that says it? Like, you wouldn't think he'd have every fucking advertisement that's, saying how great he is? That's all he's when about. He, when he, when he's giving a speech, he's like, I don't know what that's about. Is that a bad thing? Nah, bro, satanic cannibals are cool. Like, I'm sure there's good people over there. 
the fuck are we like what are we talking about here man come on son come on this is it's it's wild man it's wild yeah. like it, none of it makes sense anymore nothing nothing makes sense anymore had a weird conversation today won't mention who it was with won't talk about it but it was like it's it permeates through people you know and love it does That's all i'm gonna say it does hey, hey, it so, permeates so Eight minutes ago, before don't you let cut the whiskey off, fool you, son. I'm not gonna talk about it. That's eight, all I'm gonna say. Eight minutes ago, I was hoping you would. Eight minutes ago, before you cut me off, I was talking about nuance and racism and classism, yes. and um, and yes. and that's a valid point. There's a valid point there that it's not all racist, but it, there there's a point. There's like a cutoff because me being Latino, whatever. Let's say I was mm-hmm. black, and whatever. Hey, real quick, we're Latino. You fuck. I don't know. You know I, what I mean? I said like me. I said me being like saying, "Okay, you too. You, are, are, you sometimes you identify I don't know. yourself. Identify." I well, I don't know. I've heard you speak Continue. Spanish, and the truth is, it's my Spanish good. is sounding more like yours. So I don't know if I can identify yeah. as Latino. Like really. if, uh, like if somebody watched us, they'd be like, "Oh, that guy's definitely from Argentina, right?" That's what they Absolutely would say. not. But they would say that dude looks no, like he's messy. That dude looks like Messi's brother. No, like no, he's, he is he the next no, no, up and coming no. star in Barcelona? Barcelona, he might be. You guys are the same height. That's. Come on, pool, I think he's got me that's, by like an inch and a half, but that's all probably. right. Probably one of the goats. I choke his right, ass out. My bad. Clap, no, no, he he definitely kick you and kill you, right? Like, let's be real about. Like, if he kicked you, it, it's over for you, right? Like, those legs, son, those messy legs, with what he does on the pitch. What are you talking about? Have you seen how he kicks? Like, he's not CR seven. He just oh, he just kicks God low. Damn right, he's he not CR seven. He just kicks Thank him like you. that's it. That's it. We don't need to do a bar. What are you Barcelona talking about? No, no, no. Why are you Is cutting it? me off it's before done. I make my point? Like, what, what, cares? what's he known That's, for? Like, he's, listen, he's known for like finesse. He's known for right finesse, here. right? Finesse. Have yes. you seen his goals? Yeah. He's not putting that shit like through the net. It's like low to, to either to side. Him. Low. To, yeah, there's like yeah, touch finesse. Yeah. yeah, that doesn't mean he's not good. CR7 just tries to fucking blast that shit past the goalie. I've seen. All right, go classism, ra- racism. The I point is that there's there's a cutoff for classism. You know I'm gonna mute myself so you got it. No, no, no. Yeah, the point is, myself. I'm not even gonna say that much. I I just want to say that you cut me off because it makes me it makes me feel good to just like talk shit about you. Um, and to yeah, point it, good, point out yeah, when yeah. you do something that's uh that I don't feel <laughs> that, that, annoys that, that, that that annoys me. Yeah. Facts don't so, care about uh, your feelings. So classism and racism. Shut your mouth. Um, uh, there's a there's a cutoff, right? Because right. if I were Right now, there are people that there are, there are people in the circles that I like uh, in my network, whether it's at work or outside of work. Right. That like we we communicate, we hang out, we get along well. Uh-huh. But it's not because I'm white, and it's not necessarily right. because they don't have racist tendencies, qualities, you know, tendencies, yes. um, or thoughts or ideologies, even if they're not fully like Ignorance, you know yeah, racist, bigotry. right? You got you. Right, but it's because of whatever certain socioeconomic status that we're in. If I were right. in a different socioeconomic status, one, I wouldn't be probably. Uh, I, we wouldn't be in the same circles. We wouldn't be spending time. Right. We wouldn't be doing anything. And chances are that they'd have a different, uh, a different opinion of me just because of that. So, like, I, I get the point of classism and racism. Like, the, it, it's not right. just all racism. But I think that's what it's based on. Like, that's the root of it. And then after a while, someone would look at me and they'll be like, ah, well, this guy, he makes this much money. He lives in this house. Like, I just have to fucking, I just have to fucking like him. I don't have a choice, even if he fucking speaks Spanish. Like, that's just, that's the basic, like, that's the, that's what it comes down to. I always think of the classism versus racism argument as, uh, oh, he's one of the good ones. Why can't they all be like that? Right, like they use you as the rule, not the exception. Yeah, you know what I mean. Like when we were like, we went to the same high school, same middle school, all that shit. Right, yeah. like there was kids we went to school with that were smarter than us. There was kids we went to school with that were better at X, Y, and Z than us. Right, mm-hmm. we just happened to make it for whatever reason. Right, like if you think about it, like you went to Florida State, like you you took school, you took school way more seriously than I did. I got kicked out of high school. You were fucking I dropped out of college roll, roll and all that. I got bored. Yeah, with it. You, you dropped out of college, but you but you went. You got a scholarship and all that yeah, shit, right? Yeah, like that got my degree. That, I went back. That stuff. Yeah, that stuff happens rarely, right? Like, yes, it takes work and all and all that shit, but the work of it is never 
is never an easy task, right? Like right. we had to serve our country to be to have the benefits that we have. Like there's a lot of extra extra steps that we had to take to be in the positions that you and I specifically are in, right? And yes, like look, and we talked about it before. All my friends are the exceptions in my eyes, right? Because I have I can count on my two hands how many like real friends I have, right? And in the on those two hands, like all these people are different are completely different socioeconomic backgrounds, come from less money than I did, come on all these different things. Like you can't pinpoint what makes a person successful, right? But all of us, all of my friends and all of our friends that we know that we're so cool with, right? That mute, the mutual ones worked hard for what they have. None of them had anything handed to them. Right. So you can't ever think that like, but you can't latch onto those people and be like, ah, see, he did it. Why can't you? No, I mean, but that's not reality for people. Like, that's not some people are just gonna work not to downgrade. Some people are just gonna work at Burger King and make the manager shit. You know what I mean? Some people are gonna work at Walmart. Some people are gonna do this. None of that makes them less than you. Right. They're still human beings at the end of the day. You know what I mean? Like, because I make X amount of money, you make X amount of money. My friend makes this money. None of that value doesn't make you more or less of a person. One mistake doesn't make you more or less of a person at the end of the day. That's basically what it is. You know what I mean? Like, we're not the exceptions. We're all the rule. All of us. Because we're all fucking people. Like, that's it. Like, it's just that simple. Yeah. Like, do you think people want to be working fries at Burger King and McDonald's? No. Exactly. Like, they'd rather be doing what the f- whatever the hell I do, which is some boring ass shit, but all I do is work on spreadsheets and it's all, like, it's a lot less work than someone working fries at Burger King, but yes. they didn't have the opportunity. Yes. They didn't have the education. They didn't have from the early on, you know, parents that maybe stress education because they couldn't because their parents were too fucking busy working multiple jobs to put food on the no. table. And so, no. and, and that's the, the reality of a lot of immigrants. And I, and I get that that's also the reality of a lot of poor white people where I can understand when people try to make that case for classism. Um, yes. But you know, it's, it's, it's up rooted. It's yeah, up to a point. I think it's all rooted though in racism. Uh, I don't know who it yes. was in the RNC that said America is not a racist country. Uh, yes, it is. I I didn't I didn't see it. I yes. just saw the headline. I think it was Nick. Uh, right. What's her name? Nikki Haley, a former ambassador. Um, yes, Nikki Haley. And yeah. she said that America is not a racist country. I'm and I read the headline. I didn't bother clicking on on it because that's what this Why country was built yeah. on. It was built on racism, yes. on killing the natives, pushing them off some, to some shitty land, and bringing in yep. slaves to build the country on their backs. That's exactly yeah, what America is. There's no free is. labor. This country isn't isn't what it is. Right. There's no free labor. Absolutely not. Is, just simple as that. This country isn't what it is. Like, hey, sorry. Uh, no. You want to call us anti-American, anti pay Cool. We, pour, we wore patches on our shoulders that says we're not, motherfucker. Right. How about that? We raised our right hand ready to die at any given moment. Because of this shit. Why? Because we wanted a better opportunity for ourselves. So don't ever for a second question my loyalty or his loyalty ever in your motherfucking life. Right. But understand, we're honest about what this fucking country is. That's just what you call us what you want, man. You should love that Fuck shit because that's what that. America's about. Outspoken exactly. and speaking support your mind. Support our troops, huh? I thought it was support yeah. our troops. <laughs> it's fucking crazy. Listen, man, at the end of the day, we're not going to change our our uh loved ones lives you know fill in the blank on whoever they might be <laughs> we're not gonna we're not gonna we're not gonna change people's minds with that shit but it's just it's weird that people say like nikki haley say america is in a racist country how could you not like are we do we forget history like we we got it taught in the public school where they ba- they barely had any time to teach us shit yeah like we know the fucking the trail of tears and it was we whitewashed that we still know like. what slavery was. Yeah, it was whitewashed and we still know that shit was fucked up. We got two sentences in the history book. We know it was fucked up. But what do you mean it's not based on? Yes, it is. That that gaslighting is the issue, though. Like, the fact that you don't own up to your own shit is the problem at the end of the day. That's just what it is. If you're not honest with yourself about the country that you really are, then a cold made you sick and everything fell apart, which is what we have now. Damn. Weekend you got you got system. a cold, you got a cold, and everything said, "Hey, hey, guess, real quick, guess what? You're all poor, but Jeff Bezos is gonna be rich as shit, and we're okay with it. Hey, uh, and we're okay with it. Just die off and kill yourselves. Who cares? But remember, the brown person, the black person next to you is the problem. 
why you don't have anything to yourself or your name and you have crippling student debt. Enjoy that shit. God damn. <sighs> I got nothing else to say after that. Holy shit. That was the All right, man. I got a last couple of minutes. So obviously the the whiskey made made this podcast a little wild. Like it always does on Wednesday cuz of whiskey Wednesday. We're going to be coming out with whiskey Wednesday t-shirts, uh less ride mountain bike shirts. More shirts to come. We'll be creating them ourselves, either myself or John. And August, no, September. August, September 1st, we're launching the Patreon. September 1st, we're yeah. launching the motherfucking Patreon, man. Because why? We say wild shit. And we hope you like it. We hope you support it. And if you don't, like those two people who commented on the previous podcast, first of all, shout out to you for taking the time out to type anything on a podcast you didn't mean to watch. That's right. And also, Because we know what you were looking for, right? <laughs> You just saw the tags, queuing on, yes. and w- hold on a second. Yes. So I want to shout them out properly. I want to make sure that I give yes. them their. Uh, you want to say dues. my name? You want to say my name? Yeah, uh, fuck, call them my name. It's a public domain. I gotta find. I gotta find them right here in our, in our, in our. Comments. I remember one. I went back and forth with him. It was me, bitch. By the way, it was me. Uh, ivory. First of all, your name doesn't make any sense. Is it Ivory or Ivory? Doesn't make sense. It's a made up name. So fuck you. You don't. You're automatically disqualified. I, I, I also, I don't know. Yeah, you're. First of all, if you say "Don't betray my race," but all lives matter, makes no sense, right? Because if we're all the same race and we're all the same race of people, then guess what, motherfucker? You discredited yourself immediately in that conversation. You're an idiot and a cunt, and you probably subscribe to the Jerry Falwell way of life, of letting some dude fuck your wife and get black metal for. What a good Christian yeah. he is. <laughs> what a good Christian he is. Getting mad, getting mad at the black man or not some dude railing your wife. Good for right. you, bro. And Caleb Smith. Good for you. And Caleb Smith. What was the Caleb Smith said? He just said so I would suggest talking I would suggest talking about things you know something about. This show let, is let me, trash. Real quick. Let me, give me sixty seconds on this. Give me twelve seconds. Real Go. quick. You know a lot about satanic cannibals? Is that something you researched <laughs> in your public right. school, you dumb fuck? <laughs> what? What are you talking about? Fuck you and your bearded mother. How about that? That's but let's let's be honest. Patreon. These these two dudes came before we say Patreon, and we said some crazy shit today and on that episode. Yes. And the reason yes. why, if you thought this was crazy, that's why we're doing Patreon we're because doing Patreon. it gets worse. To the Patreon. <laughs> All right. Yeah, but the, the, the name of the, the, the name of that last episode was <laughs> far right propaganda and the dangers of QAnon. And I put some yes. crazy key, and I put all the keywords in the description and the title and the you hashtags. You did a great job. You did a great job. And these dudes, come on, you know what they did? They searched this shit on YouTube yes. or on Google, and they they yeah. were looking for QAnon, something to support their views. And they clicked on the video, and they realized, oh shit, he's a. Uh, they're shit talking QAnon. They're shit talking all oh, satanic cab- cannibal cannibalism. Yes. They're yes. shit talking Pizzagate. Yes. And uh, they didn't like what they heard, <laughs> so they took the time to comment. Uh, can I thank on, you guys on the episode on this episode? Can I mention the name of the episode? Because I feel like it's on the tip of my tongue. I think the name of this episode should be "Fuck Ben Shapiro." I, I was about like, to say F, something earlier you know, with Ben Shapiro on there for sure. Yeah, yeah, right. Like it has, <laughs> it has to be like F that little fucking asterisk. CK yeah. Ben Shapiro, right? Like that's it. Just feels right. It just feels right. It does. I feel it in my it heart, in right. my soul. Yeah. So again, Patreon kicking off on the first. Hope you guys support because we're going to be putting out content like a motherfucker. Hopefully, you're not going to be this intoxicated on the podcast. We'll be probably will be. I hope so we are. For that. It's a lot we're more entertaining. Have, it's a lot more entertaining. We'll have guests on the show. We'll have we're going to start trying out different whiskeys. I think we should start trying out different ones now. Like, I think we've got wild turkey pretty good, which just the second time was better. Tennessee honey. We've wrapped that one up. That one. Yeah. That one to me is still number one. If we're being honest, that was still number one. This one's a close second. We gotta find the next one now. We gotta find the next whiskey. I, I do. I, I do have to tell you something while we're on air. I know that the, this up? is the first time that we've done this without our our um, our overlay because it looks different. Yeah. Right. Video quality is so much better. Dude, zo- your dude, 19, shot, all, 19th century internet. I think you're now mo- you moved. Second. You've moved into like nineteen ninety three. 28k aol dialogue territory so i was like at icq and now i'm at like aol dialogue with those three boxes with the little yellow man not even icq should we cancel should we cancel aol for using a yellow man 
because honestly, that's an attack on Chinese people. I think right? so. Like, like all Asians should be very upset about that. I'm like, outraged just right now. Them into yellow, right there. First of all, this this almost should be a Patreon podcast because I don't know <laughs> if this is gonna make it into the YouTube algorithm. What? But uh, yeah, no, dude. Like, yo, real, real shit. Shout out to Zoom for making way better quality streaming and recording ability because the quality of video on this shit as opposed to Skype and OBS and all that sh- other shit is insane. Well, it doesn't even make sense. We are like, in a, we're recording app. OBS, but I want, yeah. Hey, by the way, Skype, what the fuck happened to you guys? You had a decade yeah, head on, start. Microsoft. Come on. That's why we're PS4 people. Come on, that's Bill Gates. PS4 guy. You left Microsoft to start the Bill Gates Foundation to take over the world and that's what happens? Skype just... Fuck you, you anti-vaxxer, <laughs> pro-vaxxer person. Fuck you, Bill Gates. <laughs> yeah, we're right. drinking every podcast from now on. All right, guys, catch you on the Patreon next, starting next week. Probably going to kick it off with your legend, and he's the myth, right? He's, he's the, myth. the myth. He's the myth. Makes sense. He's the myth, because a lot of the shit that he person. says is just that shit. It's a myth. Yeah, just shit. Just shit. So we'll be kicking it off. I'll talk to him off off the show. Try to get him lined up for our first guest on Patreon. Be wild, because we have no strings on us. We're like fucking... God damn it. I was about to use that Marvel reference, but I forgot the name of the guy. Oh, well, fuck it. Uh, the robot that Tony Stark created uh, on the second Avengers. Can't remember. Got nothing. All right. We'll figure it out next time. I'm not we'll, that we'll much of a fucking nerd. Some... Yeah, not that much of it. Fuck it. All right, man. We out. Peace. Peace.